Shalawam, Shalawam, Shalawam. Yeah, man, brother Banyamian, rock up your Hawashai, coming to you this morning with some precept, right? Because, yo, we have to find time for the Heavenly Father, man. Because, yo, we find time for the hard work, for the Eden, for the oppressor. And we, not, we have to find time to serve the Heavenly Father, man. Because the Heavenly Father is the ultimate power that will make every living soul upon this earth, man. And we, Israel, we have a duty, man, to serve, man. And yo, in the morning, yeah, after five, we're there for the ground, man. We're outside, man. Right? Because, yo, what is this profit for us to gain? Work, 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 and gain money, and lose the soul, man. I'm going to I'm blow it up. We have to wake up the ancestors then. And we hear the bird in the background, which is the nature of this place, man. Right? Because, yo, first and foremost, I was Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Oshai. Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Oshai. I'm Manuela, Shalawang. Home, ya Sharala. Home, ya Sharala. To what I have, I should to wake you up this morning with health and strength. Now, First and foremost, let me touch. Let me go read on the book of um, Leviticus. Because we're here working for men. Yes, we have to go out there to work. We have to put the shoulder to the wheel. Leviticus chapter 25, verse 55. And it reads. For unto me the children of Israel are servant. We are children of Israel, man. And we are servant, I lad. So we have to make sure, say, yo, we go out there and do the work of the Heavenly Father. Those that the Heavenly Father choose and put in spirit upon, man. We can't, you know, deviate from this thing, man. We have to always go out there and put in the work of the Heavenly Father, man. We are servant, I lad, man. And what the Lord say? They are my servant who I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord, your God, possessing pronouns. And yo, now for we have bass, and we see bass, and we treat bass good. And we talk to bass, you know, good. We make sure we have manners. But you see, when it comes to the Heavenly Father, all my focus has to be on the Lord, man. Because yo, I Lord be fear, man. Right, because the Lord can pull my plug at any time. The Lord pull anybody plug. Right? So the fear of the Lord, man, that's the beginning of wisdom, man. Why well, lot of us don't fear the Lord? Because what? We don't have relationship with him. What well, my relationship with the Lord, man, I fear him, man. Right? And I fear the ground when I walk upon, man. And what I do around the Lord, man. Right? Because yo, I can't hide nothing from my father, man. Right? Let me get another call. This is the book of Mark. This is the book of Mark, chapter 8. And I start at verse 34. And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples, also he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me so the lord so we have to deny ourselves man and take up our cross and follow him because yo we are servant our lord man and we have to take up the cross and follow the lord we have to do what the lord had in us to do right that's a servant job and we are the servant of the lord yo we have to deny ourselves man right our our time now after five man, I may have to go up on the oppressor them work. So I find time to come serve my lord. Look, the parakeet them are fly around man, making a lot of noise man. Right? They, they giving the lord his praise man. Because the lord makes tree for them. And they never cook no food. When them say they go home for later. But the lord provide food for them in the tree. 
whatever meal them supposed to eat that the Lord provided, man. Right? And the Lord said, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? So you see, this is the time that we are living in now. We are living in a, this body where we have right now. It's a body of flesh and spirit. And the flesh are war against the spirit. Because what the flesh wants to do, worldly things, it wants to please itself. But the spirit, where in us, wants to serve the Lord, man. Because the Lord gave us this good spirit, man. And we have to keep doing what the Lord had in us to do. In order to find joy with the Lord. Because the Lord now have joy in enough of us, you know. Because enough of us want to do our own thing, man. Right? The Lord now find a pleasure in us. And the Lord make everything for his pleasure. Right? So when we come out here and I serve the Heavenly Father, and when we come out here and we see nature, we see the birds that are so free flying around, that's what man should be living like. Man should be able to go about his business, right? Do what he's doing without fear. But you have all kind of system to keep you back from doing what you want to do. And I'm reading the scripture. This is my way of life, and this is what I love. This is what I like. But here comes people gonna get offended after the scripture that we are reading sometimes we on the road them call police for us to do us harm sometimes we on the road our own people stick up them face against us like them smell something like for the dog leg up on the roadside we have all kind of tribulation we have to go through man because what the heavenly father said it like that man right I don't want to get down for too, too much topic because this topic for me I'm going on right now. You have to believe the word of the Heavenly Father, man. And trust in what He says. And organize ourselves and make sure so we deny ourselves and do His will, man. Right? Let me get the book of Luke. This is Luke. Chapter 11. Verse 28, and it reads, But he, but he said, Yeah, rather blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. So the Lord said, This is how we get blessing, man. Blessed are they that hear the word of the Heavenly Father and keep what's written there, man. Right? So this is how we are going to get blessed in this place and at the first time we're blessed but yo what blessing you have man when they get up every day going to work 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 for the oppressor the way they're blessed man and when you start sending people to work man that's the blessing come your way and enough of the people them sell out them soul to try to get people to work for them god know what they do with the people them man sometimes my belly burn me man to a to a real me to the people them I live man right and the action that they're doing, man. So the Lord said, man, let me read it again, man. But he said, yea, rather blessed are they that hear the word of Yahweh by Shimei Shai and keep it. So when we hear the word of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, we have to keep it, man. Right? Let me get to John. This is the book of John. John chapter 7 verse 38 and he said he that believe on me as the scripture had said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water so you see the man and the woman that believe on the scripture that the heavenly father has said man out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water man right that simple mean yo you go start the truth man and you go talk as it is written you're not going to talk as how you feel. You understand? That's how the Heavenly Father is setting things, man. Right? This is the book of John, chapter 4, verse 30, 32. And it reads, But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that you know not of. So the Lord said, him have meat to eat that we know not of. Right? So this meat for the Lord give us to eat, man. Yo, we have to eat these birds, man. Right? These birds are the heavenly father, man. This is the meat that we have to eat, man. 
This is the water where we have to drink, man. We thirsty, man. We have to come to the water, man. We have to get ourselves fed, right? Let me jump to verse 13. Verse 13 says, And Amashiach Yahushai answered and said unto her, Whosoever drink of this water shall thirst again. So this is talking about the literal water, right? Verse 14, But whosoever drink of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up in everlasting life. So your yeah, man, we want everlasting life, man. We want eternal life, man. That's why we have to believe on the scripture as the scripture has said. So we can get that everlasting life, man. Right? Now let me get John 3 and 36. And it said, He that believe on the Son had everlasting life and he that believe not the Son shall not see life but rather but lucky but the wrath of Yahweh abide on him yo listen man the wrath of Yahweh Shimei and Shai we can't manage that man because yo the father said man in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 31 it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power man. And yo, we see our people fall into the hands of the living father man. And yo, when he said send evil angel amongst them man, a lot of things happen to us man. We lose our job, right? Your bank account starts trickle down. You find out say in a distress. You maybe have a lot of happenings, you happening them start, you know, disappear from you. What asset now get taken away from you? So till you broke down. Cause you're falling on the hands. Of you by Shimmy and Shai. Doing the wrong thing. Right? So it's imperative for us to do the right thing, man. Right? So when we do the right things, the Heavenly Father has come down for us with mercy. That's what we are seeking, man. We are seeking mercy. Right? So let me get second Thessalonians. Chapter 2, Slakia, 1 Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 10, and it reads, Yea, ye, yea, ye are witness, and Yahweh also of holy and justly and unblameable, we behave ourselves among you that believe so you see we have to be, behave ourselves blameless man right we behave ourselves in a certain manner we are the heavenly father wants us to teach the people and teach them with such diligence right every little thing we go into the scripture and validate and show them so them can have that mind to believe what the scripture is saying man as you know how we exalt and comfort and charge every one of you as a father does his children. Say so have a father and him children, man. Yo, the father gonna go the extra mile for the child get the understanding that he's bringing out unto him. Or a mother will do the same thing, man. Right? Verse 12. That you, that he would walk worthy of Yahweh, who had called you into his kingdom and glory. So you see, we have to work worthy, man, to the heavenly father, man, diligently, man. Because he might call us into his kingdom. We are children of Israel from birth. You understand? So we have to walk worthy. We can't walk dirty, right? We have to make the heavenly father look down from heaven. And when he see us work, he must accept us, man. These are the things that we're supposed to focus on. Right? We can't focus on worldly things. Worldly things keep us back away from the Heavenly Father. We apply that He already planned out for us, man. Right? Let me carry on. Verse 13. For this cause also thank we, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, without ceasing, because 
when you receive the word of God which you have heard of us you receive it not of the world of man Sulakia, the word of man but as it is in truth the word of God which effectually effectually work it also in you that believe so you see when you hear this word of the heavenly father man it work also in you that believe man it ignite you man when you hear the scripture man you read it and you visualize it man yo it give you that passion to know say yo i mean the book of talk about man right this is what the lord want from me man right these are the things what we have to do Hold on, pan man, and keep and do the things that please it unto the heavenly Father, man. Right? Let me get um, First Thessalonians chapter five, verse seventeen, and it reads: Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Of this is the will of Yahweh in Amashiach Yahushai concerning you. So yo, we have to pray, man, without ceasing, man. You got your bed, first thing you do, you pray, man. You wake up in the morning, first thing you do, you pray, man. You're going out on the road, man. You ask the Lord, of it. Lord to protect you, man, cover you, man. Prayers never too much, man. You can pray all ten times a day, man. Right? Send supplication unto the Lord, man. Can you believe his word? what he said unto us man and once we believe his word what he said unto us man he's gonna find joy with us man a long time we don't see joy now we don't even know what joy look like right we don't even know what joy look like a long time we don't see joy man so we have to do the things that please the heavenly father in truth and sincerity by the will of the heavenly father so yeah let me get luke chapter 21 slap here Luke chapter 21, verse 36. And it reads, Watch ye therefore, and pray always that you ye may be accountable worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man so you see we have to watch and pray we see the time we are going we see the uproar right we see the the stage of presidency president to be doing all kind of things to try to get sympathy looking we see the uproar of the people. We see in Kenya, the people are fighting, running away. The oppressing government that they have. We see the war in some, what's that place here, man? Sudan. We see the war breaking off all over the place. We see the upliftment of the Africans. But Bikini Faso, but Mali, but Niger. We see the God, the Africans are rising up because the Lord has put the spirit in the earth. Where these spirits come here to divide things, right? To make the oppressor don't sit in his driving seat and acting like he's the one in charge. The Lord is the one that is in charge right now. We must sell division amongst the people. Just like when he says, suppose he come to send peace on earth, rather division. So the division are going on. We say the Heavenly Father flex and do him thing. So he said, watch man and see what are going on man. Keep praying man. Believe in him man. Because he is the one that doing all things. Right? So we have to believe on his scripture man. Just as it is written man. Right? And let me get Luke 17. This is the book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 33. And it reads, Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life 
shall preserve it. So yo, we are gonna try it. This man I'm gonna come out here and I'm make sure I say. Me deny myself, man. Me have seek the way of the Lord, man. What is this life to come round here and work like a donkey, man? Every man in the get up, you have back it. You have all kind of pain around your body, but yet still you have to go to work. You must feel tight because you've been, you know, grinding out there, grinding slow, grinding still, grinding slow, grinding still. It's not a life, man. It's a death, right? Verse 34. I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed, that one shall be taken and the other shall be left, right? 35. Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken and the other left. Because yo, you have got worldly people amongst you, man. And when you have worldly people amongst you, man, yo, the father said, one are going to take him and the other be left. Because them not do it. Them not do the work. Them not put in the work for the father. Right? Two men shall be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, We are Lord. And he said unto them, Whosoever, flock here, wheresoever the body is, thither will the angel be gathered together. So wherever the man of the Lord, the woman of the Lord is, I do the work of the heavenly father. He said the angel are come to come gather them man. Right? Let me jump to 21. Luke chapter 17 verse 21. And it read. And eat Slakia. And desire to be fed. Slakia. Luke 17 verse 21. And it reads. Neither shall they say, Lo, here, or lo, there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. So the kingdom of Yahweh Shemiashai is in us, man. So if we start to do the work of the Heavenly Father, that's how the angel I come gather you, man. Anywhere the body, the man, you understand? And that's how the angel I come gather. Because the Lord is one body, one mind, one spirit, right? And it reads, And he said unto the disciples, The days will come when you shall desire to see one of the day of the Son of Man, and you shall not see it. And they say, And they shall say to you, See here or see there, go not after them, nor follow them. Right? We're not going to go after them now, follow them, man. For as the lightning, that lightning out of one part of the heaven, shine it upon the other part, upon heaven, under heaven, Slakia. So shall also the Son of Man be in that day. Look, the sun has come out, man. Beautiful. Just like how we just read, like lightning coming out. That's how the sun rise up this morning. Right? But first, but first must be suffer many things. That's why we are going through all kind of tribulation right now. We are suffer many things because what? The Lord set it like that. Because the Lord is going to give us spiritual power, man. So we have to get beat down after beat down to get set up straight, man. Because before goodness comes, hard times have to come now we life. Right? And it reads. But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. And we've been rejected of this generation. Because every time we come out there, I so we are the man of the Lord, people reject us, man. People lang up their mouth for us, man. I want to see the back of us, man. But you see, through the power of Yahweh Shimi and Shai, that will never happen. Right? That will never happen. Let me get Isaiah 32 and we start at 15 and it reads 
until the spirit until, okay, until the spirit be poured upon us from a high so you see the heavenly father wisdom come from a high the heavenly father spirit has going come from a high and come down and upon us man and it reads and the and the wilderness be a fruitful field and the fruitful field be counted for a forest so the Lord said when the spirit come down upon us from heaven we are going to get spiritual power man right and him said when the field when the field becomes a when the fruitful field when the wilderness be a fruitful field so right now we are living in a wilderness man and the Lord said it becomes a fruitful field because why it's a wilderness now what kind of GMO food we are near? We don't have no authentic food. We have eat food we're making a lab. These are not real times we're living in. We're living in a evil time. Right? So the Lord said the wilderness has become a fruitful field, man. So we have to have food, good food to eat again. All praises to Yahweh Shimei man. Right? Verse 16. Then judgment shall dwell in the wilderness. So you see? Judgment are going to dwell in the wilderness because what? We the children of Israel are going to wake up in our right mind and we are going to judge people, man. Right? And it reads, And righteousness remain in the fruitful field. So this is the fruitful field where we are going to bring forth. Righteousness are going to remain in the night, man. Nobody now going to come and talk about them and they do LBG, QQ, all kind of mad of evil around them, man. Because we are taking them out, man. Because Lord will give us spiritual power, man. Right? Verse 17. And the work of righteousness shall be peace. And the effect of righteousness, quietness, and assurance forever. We are going to rule this thing forever, ever, man. As it says in the book of um, Daniel 7, verse 18, man. Right? And my people shall dwell in peaceable habitation and in sure dwelling and in quiet resting place man we're not in a quiet resting place right now lots of my people right and we are the children of israel man and we're holding on what the lord says man right when, when it shall hail coming down on the first frost and the city shall be low in a low place blessed are he that show, show, show beside all water that send forth thither the feet of the fox and the arse. So yo, we animal I go drink water and we sow them crap beside water. The heavenly father go make we get things that are abundant, man. Right? And the things that we go get in are abundant. Thus says the Lord, man. Right? And when the Lord says something, it's going to happen. Just like how he said it, man. Right? Just like how he said it, man. Let's forget Psalm chapter 18. Psalm chapter 18. Verse 22. Psalm chapter 18, verse 22. For all his judgment were before me, and I did not put away his statue from me. So all the Lord judgment is in front of us, the children of Israel. And we can't put away his statue, man, because his statue rules supreme. Once we leave the Lord's statue, it's weird that he ordained us to live in. We are going to keep on catching hell. Right? Verse 23. I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from my iniquity. We have to fight hard to stay away from iniquity, man. Sin. Because the oppressor keep putting sin in front of our face. We go in front of the store. All we see in front of our face is yam pork, yam shrimps, yam crab. Unclean food, man. 
right? We have dietary law where we have to keep. We have dress code that we have to keep. We have to rock our fringe continually, man. Our sisters have to wear them dresses and them skirt continually, man. The man them have to grow them beard continually, man. Look like a lion for the Lord, man, because we are lions, man. We are not hyenas. We are not kittens. We are not dogs. Verse 23, 24. Therefore had the Lord recompense me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. So we can't hide from the Lord, man. No matter where you're the man, you could have underneath the sea, man. The Lord of his creature down there watching you, man. Leviathan is down there, right? And his angel of water is down there. Verse 26. With the pure, thou will show thyself pure. And with the forward, thou will show thyself forward. For thou will save the afflicted people, but will bring down high looks. And when it says bring down high looks, it means your proud looks. If you're acting proud, if you're acting like say, everything build around you like you're living around bulb. And you feel like say, boy, you know, I'll. This is my bulb and I don't want nobody to come and, you know, mingle with it and mash my bulb. Listen man, come out of your bulb. And make sure so you come put your work, your foot on the ground. And come do, pick up, take up the Lord's cross and carry it man. Because he give you a job. He say we are his servant. So we supposed to do his work man. Not come around here come work for the oppressor. To hell with the oppressor. Verse 28, for thou will light my candle, and we know how we can put out. We want the Lord to keep it burning, man. We sick and tired of this dark place, man. Who has the light? And the Lord my God will enlarge, enlighten my darkness. This place is darkness. We want the Lord to enlighten us, man. Verse 29, for by thee. I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. So you see David say, by the heavenly Father I have run through a troop, man. Right? So we have spiritual power, man. We take up our tank and fling with that, man. Right? And we take all them big rocket lads that we them have, man, and them shoot and it boom off fire, man. Because the Lord will give you some spiritual power, man. You know, watch Hancock. Why you think them show these movies, man? Because they know it coming. They know it in a far fetch. Right? Let me jump to verse 37. Verse 37 read. For thou had girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rise up against me. Thou hast also given me the neck of my enemies, and I might destroy them that hate me. So the Lord I give you the neck of your enemy, man. And said, destroy them, man. Right? So why we are rich, so we have enemy, and the pastor them not tell us these things. Because pastor is nothing but a fat dog, liar. Right? Because he's been gassed up by the oppressor, and the oppressor walk around and feed him lies, and he come to church, Feed us lies when he's nothing but a big long tongue dog. We should bury, right? Verse 40. Slakia. Yeah, verse 40. Thou hast also give me the neck of my enemies, and I that Slakia, that I might destroy them that hate me. Verse 41, they cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. 
the Lord not deal with everybody. Them crying to the Lord, but the Lord say, Who you call to man? I don't know you, man. You oppress my servant. Make him deal with you now. Make him stand up in your neck, man. Make him pop off your neck. Because it's your time to get pop off neck. Right? Let me jump, Slakia. Let me jump, get Syrah. This is the book of Syrah. Chapter 33. Sirach chapter 33. Sirach chapter 33, verse 15. And it reads So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two. One. Slakia, read it again. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two. One against another. I awake up, Slakia. I wake it up, less of all, as one that. Slakia. Verse 13. Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as the Syrac. 33, verse 13. As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure so man is in the hands of him that made him to render to them as kind to him so the lord said whosoever he will render kindness unto him i got do it man kind him best right verse 14 yeah good is set against evil and life against death so is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High and they are two and two, one against another. Right? So the Lord said, man, good is set against evil, man. Look upon the works of the Most High, one set against the other. Good is set against evil, man. Right? So that's why we the children of Israel, we are the good. And the Lord makes our evil people. And the evil people is in power right now. But the Lord said we go stop, step on them neck, man. Just like in the book of Joshua, chapter 10, verse 27, man. Come here and put your foot upon the neck of these kings, man. And with that being said, man, we are going to close it out, man. Because we need to go work for the oppressor right now. But we make sure we come work for my father first, right? Because my father is the ultimate power, right? And with that being said, I'm going to close out. I'm going to say what? Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Oshai. Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Oshai. I'm Manuela Shalawa. Who am I, Sharala? Who am I, Sharala? To what I am, I should be a shy for the vision. Till the next one, we are wake up your ancestors, man. Right? Shallow up.